In this episode of Thrower X, we interview the national record holder in the discus of this country. This guy is an absolute stud. His coach joins us. They talk about the start technique drills in this segment, so check it out. How do you guys generally go out and, you know, how do you look at your technique and what do you, you know, what are the things, how, when you're trying to get the lower body ahead, obviously I think that starts in the beginning of the throw as well. Um, but what are some of the big things that you guys like to think about? Uh we think about probably most the start. Uh, the start is like the most important thing. So if if the start is really good, I mean the rest of the throw is just gonna almost finish it itself. Mm -hmm. And if you like, if you can start with a, like a good press into the circle, <clears throat> wide right leg, and your left leg is not like pulling you into the circle, that's almost just. That's it just equals 60 meters plus like all the time almost, but right. it's really hard sometimes to try and throw far without pulling something right. out of line and something. So for me, at least, I think about almost every practice is just trying to get that start right. And right now we are working on just like not pulling the left shoulder into the throw okay. and that's that's something i did really well in my 69 meter throw mm -hmm. uh, i i managed to like neutralize my left shoulder so instead of like always put, opening it up it was always just closed the whole time so it managed to let me like leave the discus uh, more behind mm -hmm. and just like give me a better torque like from a feet and up into the fingers right and coach, what do you, so when you're coaching it, um, what do you like, what do you look for? Like, how do you know his start is on and how do you know his start is off? Well, I, I just see the, if the balance is good or not. Right. Just by, just by watching him and sometimes just by hearing the throw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. You can you can hear if it if it is a good throw. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah, the way the feet are going to sound through the yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. So, um, so the way the way I coach, I don't really have like a like a set of rules like you have done mm -hmm. with your six pillars, um, which I think is really good. In, in the way you explained how things are in your country, there are not so many, many quali quality throwers out, uh, coaches out there. Right. So, so you're trying to build that up with, with those steps. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I do, I just, I just watch the individuals, th how they throw. And then I correct things mm -hmm. by number of different drills to to correct it and uh, and and yeah that's just how i i work um sometimes i have to say the same thing in 10 different ways yeah for the athlete to understand it right <laughs> so so uh yeah so it's just a lot of work one on one mm -hmm. so that's that's what I try to do. I try to spend time with an athlete when he's throwing. I I just don't give him orders and then I go somewhere else. I'm there watching, taking videos. We watch the videos together right there, mm -hmm. and not every not all the time. I don't think that's good to do all the time. Sometimes you just have to throw and feel it. Right. But it's a lot of lot of video work also right there on the spot yeah um, and uh, yeah that's that's how i work gotcha mm. and you know and obviously back in your day and you're i i'm i'm 52 so i'm i'm mm. just a little <laughs> younger than you but um 
obviously I had, you remember it back in the day, it was like, you had to film and you had to go home and you had to watch it. You couldn't yeah, really yeah, watch it on. Yeah. And so it's so great to just have a phone yeah. and you can just be like, let me look at that again. Right. right? Yeah. And that, that's it's a wonderful. definite training advantage nowadays yeah. for sure. Yeah. So um, what, since you mentioned drills, what would be, you know, you had really fast success and obviously that says a lot about your athletic ability uh, that, that you could, you know, basically what in the second season, throw 63 meters your first year, you threw 52 meters with the 1.75. Right. And that's a huge throw for the first year with a 175. Uh, I actually <laughs> threw 53 something. Oh, was it 53? Okay. Yeah. But somehow it's not recorded anyway. <laughs> ah, okay. So yeah, even, even more to the point. And so the next year you throw 63, 50, and a series of 60 meter throws with the 2k as a it's like you're the icelandic lawrence okoye <laughs> <laughs> so uh so coach doing that and, and to have that kind of success what would what would be like three drills that you uh like your top three drills to kind of get a young thrower moving quickly and what specifically did Gunna? was what was what was the key for him well he he had the touch for the disc right away so he had the he had the long reads and and really uh that 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 pushed to the implement okay so I, so i didn't have to worry about that uh, what i just had to have him do is is like like, like the things you you're doing you know you press into your left leg and you take the right wide out and 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 put it down there okay to the right okay so a lot of those drill to start with just just to put pressure on the left leg mm -hmm. and take the right have, have the same distance between the knees as you go around mm. uh, that's how i explain it okay and keep your toe out okay it's, and uh and then a very important thing is never look down just right just look like you're walking in a normal way of walking right yeah and then we're still working on this uh with with Gunnar's head though i think he has a lot of in a lot of lot of uh improvement to do with the way he manages his head as he throws Mm -hmm. So he's, he's, he's still leading a little bit with his head at the finish. I okay. want him to relax a little bit more and get more, get more, um, a little bit more delay gotcha. from the upper body. Yeah. Right. So now, we still have, we still have some improvements to do. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Well, really at 25 or now you're 26 right? So you still are in your prime throwing years. So yeah, what? and obviously yeah. I would imagine, you know, you want to, Paris has got to be the goal. And, yeah. and uh, you know, what do you think, um, what do you think you're going to be able to throw? And I do have two more questions for you guys tech, about technique. There's two things, I'll bet. but ultimately with where, where do you think you can like what's your goal like is is the next goal just a just a pr or do you have in your head like is 70 meters the constant thought or you know how do you guys approach that next level i mean my goal is just always to throw as far as i possibly can mm -hmm. and just i mean i want to be able to throw constantly really far so i'll be able to join like diamond league meetings uh always in the finals at the big meets or championships right. i mean everybody's looking for the podium right i think uh, a very few <laughs> discus throwers uh, at this level don't think about the podium it's like right. everybody's always thinking about the gold everything is about the gold but i mean uh, it is possible i mean i know i can throw really far it just it just has to be a good day and we just are always working on the technique and we'll just see what happens i mean i'm strong enough to throw far 
now we just need to maybe do it there you go